What's going on everybody? Casey here with Patina Pit Stop talking about my station wagon and the frustrations of having an old car. My dad once told me that whenever you modify a car, there's going to be problems. That's just the way it is. When you modify a car, there's going to be issues. And he was right. When you change stuff on a car, there's going to be problems. My last video, I redid the brakes, showed you how I changed the master cylinder, did all that, and I'm kind of frustrated right now. The rear brakes on this have been sticking. I took it for a drive after that video, just a quick run to make sure everything was good. When I let off the brake pedal, it feels like the brakes are sticking, just momentarily, three to five seconds, feels like the brakes are kind of hanging up, and then they'll release. And it's happened basically since the rear end's been replaced. So, I took the calipers apart, cleaned the caliper slides. Uh, I might sprinkle in a clip of where I took everything apart. You can see some of the, the, the corrosion and you know the brake dust buildup, and I thought maybe that was part of the problem. That is pretty dirty. These, uh, these this rear end, this brake setup is sitting for at least a year, I'm gonna say probably two. And I'm wondering if the reason why the rear brakes were sticking was because of all that gunk, dirt, crud. And this is half of the caliper. This is the outer half of the wood brake caliper. Which, like I said, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever pulled one of these apart. So, kind of learning as I go. But that's what might be the problem. So. We're gonna stick it back together and see if uh, see if it's any better. Nope, put everything back together, brakes are still sticking. So today, I was digging into it, trying to figure out what I was gonna do, and my neighbor walked over and he started talking to me about, you know, we were just talking about stuff, and during the conversation, I started thinking about the brake hose, the rear brake hose on the car. Now, we didn't change that when we replaced the rear end, we replaced the rear end, the problems started happening. So I kept thinking, it's gotta be something with the brake calipers or something like that. But after I thought about it, I was like, well, we did put a vice grips on the brake hose and clamped it down. I wonder if that hose is having an issue. I wonder if that hose has collapsed. The car's a 1964, the hose looks original. Probably been on there 55 years. So I went ahead and took the rear brake hose off just to see. Well, I got it right here. Well, it just is a good old fashioned regular rear brake hose. But watch this. This is gross, but watch. That's gross. No air will go through there. So, that one. I went to the old parts store. I got me another brake hose. Watch this. You hear that? That's air going through there. I'm wondering if a collapsed brake hose has been my brake problem this whole time. Let's throw this joker on, see if it fixes it. If you notice, I'm outside. That's a good sign. That means the wheels are on the wagon. That means the brakes work. Change the brake hose. I tried to make a video of it, but it was really hard to see because it's underneath and it wasn't very interesting, but I replaced the brake hose. Got the lovely wife to come out and help bleed the brakes. More fluid came out than ever has come out before. Way, way, way better. I'm a happy guy. I got a rear sway bar that I was gonna put on this thing too, but that didn't fit, so. So with every high, you get a little bit of a low, but anyway, rear brakes work. So I rolled the car outside, my little guy's taking a nap, so I couldn't start the car up, but I rolled the car outside and I finished up wiring my toggle switch for the, uh, for the line lock. And, uh, you know, usually when you go to test one of those guys out, which I'm gonna go test on it, and we're gonna we're gonna show you something in a second. But I wanted to see 
make sure everything worked without driving the car. My driveway is on kind of a hill, so if you, I got it in neutral, and if I let go of the brake, we're rolling. Toggle switch. Can you see it? There you go. On. <gasps> Car's not rolling. Do the burnout. That means my line lock works. My rear brakes work and they don't stay on. My line lock works. I am like happy, happy, happy. See? Line lock works. Let's go do some burnouts. Yeah. guys that's it for this video i really want to thank you for watching it means a lot to me uh that you take time to uh, to watch my my goofy videos and and what i'm doing on here uh i'm trying to to make something interesting something i'd want to watch um i'm probably going to be doing some more videos uh as soon as i can i want to keep going with this uh and give some more content about what's going on with the wagon uh, it's September now, and I really want to go drag racing at least once this year. That's my goal. Um, I want to see what thing will do, you know, with the improvements that I've made to the car. Uh, I have to put a battery box in the back of the car because um, I moved the battery to the, the spare tire well. So I need to do that. That'll probably be my next video. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. It's going to be kind of trial and error mounting the battery box and setting up the uh, the on off switch. I do have a power disconnect switch and in the car right now, um, but it's I'm gonna have to move it to, to make the battery box work that I have. So I appreciate you all watching. Please subscribe to the channel, um, like the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Tell me what I'm doing wrong and right and uh, probably a lot more of the wrongs than the rights, but. Let me know what's going on, what you think of my channel, what do you think of my station wagon. Um, and uh, I have an idea for a new project and uh, I might be dropping that idea or checking out uh, the car that I want to use for a new project sometime soon. So thanks again for watching. Uh, check me out on Facebook at Patina Pit Stop, Instagram at Patina Pit Stop. And uh, of course, thanks again for watching. Y'all guys have a, have a great day.